I'm fascinated by educational YouTube and I'm fascinated by educational YouTubers. Um, I'm really fascinated by um, the people who take time out of their lives to present stuff they're passionate about and edit it together and upload it and all that sort of stuff. So what I've done is I've asked a bunch of edutubers to talk about why they started their channels. I love people's stories, I love hearing people's origin stories, and I'm finding this a really interesting process. So here are the first four of what will probably be a small series of these. If you are an edutuber and you would like to participate in this, comment down below, find me on social media and let me know because I'd love to have you and I'd love to hear your story too. What's up, Dr. Amanda White here from Amanda Loves to Audit. And in our little uh, YouTube or Ed YouTubers community, there was a call put out for people to talk about why they got started on YouTube. And I really got started, I've been an educator in higher education for almost two decades now. And uh, what I found, the reason why I got into this is because students were having problems with some uh, particular content. And rather than refer to textbooks, or lecture slides, I actually started drawing diagrams to try and uh, put those difficult concepts into a visual way that students could understand them. And they love them, but then I found I was drawing the same diagrams in consultation after consultation, so I thought, why not make a video? Made my first video, put it online, and students loved it. So from that point on, I started making videos to make my own life easier. And that meant that students could come to consultation times or come to appointment times or come to class with much deeper questions than I don't understand the basic theory. They were more along the lines of, well, what is the implication for this theory now that I understand it? Now, those were all housed on our university learning and management system. And the question, well, the issue then came up of viewers. So I taught 400 to 500 students per term. And uh, back in those days, this was probably like eight years ago, I think, or seven, oh, maybe almost a decade ago, universities were charged by bandwidth, how much was downloaded and uploaded from our systems. And all of these videos, which weren't great quality, they maybe were 720p, um, all of these videos being downloaded and viewed hundreds of times because there was no streaming service through our university meant that I was costing the university a bit of money. And they said to me, Amanda, we need to put the video somewhere else. We can't host them within our infrastructure. And I said, what do you want me to do? And they said, start a YouTube channel. And I said, you mean put them on the university's official YouTube channel? And they said, no, 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 just start your own channel. And I said, well, isn't this work I've made for the university? And they're like, ah, we don't care, put it out there. Um, so I've been very supported by my institution. Uh, I started doing that, I started on YouTube in 2012. So what is it, 2019? That's a good chunk of years that I've been out here in the YouTube um, environment. And it's been fantastic. I've met awesome people through Twitter, through collabs. Um, I really love Philip Wong, who is tetracarbon on YouTube. We do a lot of um, conversations and we're great mates now. Um, uh, we've only done, I think, like one short little clip together, but he's one of my favorite people. And I love the power of YouTube. I love that I can help my students, but what I'm also doing is I'm helping students around Australia, around the world, especially in countries where they might not have access to great educators, to people who are real subject matter experts. So I really value my opportunity to help others. That's why I got into academia in the first place, was to have an impact on those future minds. And I'm really loving it. Don't think I'll ever give up anytime soon. Um, certainly is hard work on top of my regular day job in making content, but the skills I've learned, the friends I've made, and the real impact that I've had from people who write to me from all around the world is pretty awesome. So if you're thinking about giving it a go on YouTube, you think you have something to say, then please come and join us in the EduTube community, the education side of YouTube. We'd love to have you. Don't ever think that you know, the area is saturated or there's not a space for new voices because I would love to welcome more new voices into this space. That's all from me, Dr. Amanda White from Amanda Loves to Audit signing off and I hope to see you online soon. 
Hi, I'm Russell and my channel is IDU Curiosity. The IDU part stands for I don't understand because I've always felt that the first step towards learning something is admitting that you don't understand it to begin with. I started making videos in 2015 after several years of procrastinating and being terrified of the idea of putting myself out there, but I started for the same reason that I start a lot of the things that I've done, which is that I see other people doing a thing, and then I decide to have a go at that as well. That's how I got into photography and graphic design and art and whatever else I've done in the past as well. Sometimes I find out that I'm not very good at things, but other times it works out and I keep at it, which is what's happened with making YouTube videos. I make videos for a few reasons. I watch a lot of YouTube science and education creators and I kind of wanted to be a part of that community. I subscribe to several museums on YouTube and I appreciate the work that they do and how they're able to let people access the information in their museum collections via YouTube videos, which is awesome. I grew up in Lightning Ridge in northern New South Wales, which is an opal mining community and it's the only place on earth that black opal is mined. So after watching YouTube videos uh, from channels like the Brain Scoop uh, from the Field Museum in Chicago and Brady Harron's Objectivity from the Royal Society in London, I realised that through my connections here that I actually have access to an awesome museum myself and also to the local historical society of one of the most unique uh, historically fascinating, paleontologically significant and culturally diverse locations in Australia. So not only are the videos that I make a lot of fun to put together, but it's also great to help out an organisation like the Australian Opal Centre by allowing them to educate people about some of the incredible items in their extensive collection of opal and opalised fossils and opal mining heritage items and all kinds of weird stuff. Plus, as a kid growing up in the Jurassic Park generation, it's amazing to work with paleontologists and make videos about dinosaurs because... Dinosaurs! And my channel's kind of grown from there. And it's not just museum objects, it's also history and weirdness and sometimes I throw in random space and science videos when they take my fancy. The totally selfish reason behind making videos is that I really enjoy having a legitimate reason to spend time with subject matter experts. So just getting to talk to people about the awesome things that they do. My goal is to get to the point where I have enough subscribers and view count statistics to be totally confident sending off an email to any given university professor, lecturer, content creator, field expert and asking if I can just stop by and have a chat with them about the amazing stuff that they've done or some awesome paper that they've written or things like that and uh, uh, allow them to be confident that there's a dog charging towards me right now it's wagging its tail so I think it's happy to see me hey pooch hey hello an unexpected visitor hey what you doing what you doing? Oh my god, it's friendly. Hello. Best interruption ever. I think you need to go find your family. Go find your family. Where are your people? Yeah, so what I'd like is to be able to be able to send off emails and, and, and messages to those awesome people and give them confidence that I'm going to be able to make a decent and, you know, reasonably professional product out of the end of it. So that's me. Thank you for the opportunity to say some stuff and keep making videos. If you haven't made one yet, make one. You gotta make the first one. Once you've done the first one, the rest just kinda happen. The first one's hard, but do that. Hey everyone, I am Jade, but you may know me online as Miss Coco the Librarian. Recently my good friend Saffron asked me to tell all of you about my channel and why I started it. My channel is an educational channel. I teach job hunters and libraries and people generally in the information management space how to create a great online presence 
and I instruct them on the power of having a good online presence. Because honestly, when you want to know something about a new place or new event that you've never been to before, what's the first thing you do? You look for it online. So yeah, I wanted to help people in my industry, which is libraries and information management, create rock and online presence that would put them front and center on people's screens whenever they searched for them. So now that you know a bit about the type of content you would find on my YouTube channel, why did I start it? Well, pure and simple, I wanted to help people, which I was already doing with my business, Miss Coco the Librarian, but that was all one-on-one -on -one work and I wanted to reach more people. So starting a YouTube channel seemed like a good way to do that. Hi there, Stephen Colbert is my name, my channel is Mr. Colbert's Teaching and originally I started making videos because I'd taught a certain topic so many times that I felt like I could teach it in my sleep. I had my first, second and third explanations all nailed and worked out and so I figured rather than having a big long direct instruction PowerPoint I should make a video and so that was when I started in June 2016 I believe, a fairly long time ago and now making videos is just something that I do. So most of my videos of late are aimed at teachers and talking about pedagogy and educational research and those sort of things. Uh, but basically it's just something that I do. So from now on I'll be making videos about whatever I'm interested in at the time, regardless of how unpopular and uh, niche my interests are, I'll keep doing that sort of thing anyway. Cheers. Hi, my name is Nicholas and I'm a happy teacher. Today I'm going to talk to you about why I decided to do uh, YouTube and why I decided to have a YouTube channel? Well, I think it all began when I have uh, learned about the flipped classroom. I wanted to do some videos for my students, but I wasn't quite uh, sure if I could show my face on the internet. So I used an avatar, a small character, uh, in a cartoon way and the point was to sum up my lessons and give the essentials to my students. And then I've discovered, I have discovered the teacher tubers community from the US. So, and I have learned a lot of things um, from primary school teachers in the US. So I decided, yeah, let's do this. Let's show my face to the world and do a teacher tuber thing. So here I am and I have shared my day-to-day -day life as a teacher in my school, at my school, and it's been quite a journey. I have discovered so many people and I've been in touch with so many teachers around the world. It's been amazing. This year I couldn't post as much as videos as I wanted to, but it's been uh, quite a journey, so, and that's why I'm doing this video because um, an Australian teacher uh, wants to do a collaboration about the why of being on YouTube and why being a need you no a what a YouTuber yeah I think that's the word a day YouTuber so great connection with teachers around the world and with my students too it's been a great adventure so hi to all the teachers around the world. You know who you are and you know I like you a lot. See you next time. I just hope it's all right and uh, bye. Bye. So I suppose I should talk about why I started my channel. Hello, my name is Seraphim. Um, I run Monster Thinks, which is a channel uh, about humanities and history, occasionally museums, and also about educational YouTube, so uh, EduTube. So I had been a primary school teacher in the past before I started my channel, and I am now a university tutor, but at the time I started my channel, I wasn't teaching, and I didn't really consider myself a teacher. Um, though I was running workshops and all sorts of things. So really looking back at it, I was just kidding myself that I wasn't a teacher. Um, so I'd been watching YouTube for a while and then I came across Emily Grassley of the Brain Scoop while she was still at the Montana Museum. And she totally inspired me. I really loved her enthusiasm. I loved that she was a woman in a 
YouTube field of dudes, and I loved that she was telling the stories behind stuff. So I love stories. I love the stories behind things. Um, I love the history of things. Um, I love finding out stuff. I love all of that stuff. And here was someone doing that on a YouTube channel, and I'm like, I can do that. I can totally do that. I, oh, I really want to do that. Although I loved what Emily was doing with science and dinosaurs and bones and all that sort of stuff, and I was fascinated and I learned huge amounts of things, um, I wanted to do it from a humanities point of view because I felt like there was lots of science communicators out there and there wasn't a lot of humanities communicators out there, and my expertise was humanities and I really love them too, and I really, I just want to share them, right? I get enthusiastic about stuff and I really want to tell people about it, and so a YouTube channel worked perfectly for that. So I'd been making videos for a few years, but I hadn't really edited them together, or I hadn't uploaded them anywhere and I certainly didn't have a channel. And then it was announced that VidCon was coming to Australia and that you could enter a competition to get free VidCon tickets um, by entering a video. Um, and so that was me like, okay, well now I actually have to launch my channel, huh? And then I entered the competition, which I did not win, but that was okay. So. I had a channel instead and I um, had to publicly announce myself as a YouTuber. And so I made videos about museums, I uh, looked into stories and forgotten histories and really loved, I really loved de delving into that stuff and I really loved presenting it. This channel has shifted a little since I started it, like I started it with a humanities bent and the occasional um, other thing and now it also looks at uh, edutube itself. So a benefit of this channel that I didn't expect was um, finding myself part of a community. So um, at the two VidCons that I've been to and um, through Twitter, through people commenting, I have found myself part of this worldwide educational community which is amazing. Um, I love talking to people about their channels and um, about their content and what they're doing and so this is kind of what this video is about, right? It's a, it's a way to find out those people's stories and share them with other people as well. So I'm really loving um, finding out all that stuff, I'm really loving watching other people's videos, I'm really loving all the learning because I really like the learning. Um, and so that's why I started, because I had um, heaps of, had heaps of enthusiasm for sharing knowledge, finding out knowledge and sharing knowledge, and I wanted to share it with the world.